Welcome back. A local man is spreading awareness about a rare disease his son is battling. Angelman syndrome is a rare congenital disorder caused by the absence of certain genes and affects roughly 1 in 20,000 people. Yesterday was International Angelman Syndrome Awareness Day. Kent Fleming talks about the symptoms of the disease. If a child has things like an absolute fascination with water and uh, smiling regularly, but there's also bad things like epileptic seizures and, and cerebral palsy, sometimes confined to a wheelchair, and usually no speech at all. Uh, ten words would be miraculous in a full-grown adult. That's some of the symptoms that you can tell that your child has Angelman syndrome. Fleming with the Canadian Angelman Syndrome Society encourages parents who notice any of these symptoms in their child to go to angelmancanada.org for additional info. They can take that information into the doctor uh, because you do need a genetic test to uh, be determined if you have Angelman Syndrome. And there's currently no cure for Angelman Syndrome. However, there are treatments available to alleviate some of the symptoms. Well, switching gears now, there were beads, feathers, and jeweled masks. Once again, hundreds of locals donned their best costumes and headed to the exhibition grounds for the 20th annual Mardi Gras over the weekend. The lavish affair isn't just an opportunity to get residents out and have a great time. The event, put on by the Friends of the Performing Arts Group each year, helps support countless programs within the community. Hannah Tita has more. Live music had partygoers up and dancing all night long at this year's Mardi Gras. Several local bands got to showcase their musical talent in front of the vibrantly dressed crowd. The music is so good. Lloydminster has so many talented musicians here, and it's a great place to have these musicians play. Friends of the Performing Arts President Cindy Gratton says she's blown away each year by the effort people put into their costumes. Like some of the creativity that goes into these costumes is amazing, and we have some really neat themes too. Groups come together, and, and some people spend hours and hours like making their costume or prosthetics, and it's just it's really neat to see. The much-anticipated costume contest had many coming back for more. Last year was such a great time, and uh, just seeing like everybody out here is just like so awesome, right? So, uh, and it's just fun to just get into a different character and just do something special, right? Supporting the performing arts is really what Mardi Gras is all about. From providing band instruments to local schools, to post-secondary scholarships, to funding drama workshops, Fopa donated more than $100,000 to arts in the community in the past five years alone. I love music. I'm a music teacher and uh, I, I love the cause, the charity, giving to school music programs and other performing arts in our community. In a lot of communities it's, it's, it's an undervalued, undervalued asset because it's part of what brings people to your area and it part, as I said it's part of what brings the culture to the area as well. The night also featured dinner, a parade, a photo box and of course prizes. While the event didn't sell out like in previous years, Grattan says they are grateful for everyone who did come out to enjoy the festivities. We don't have a number in mind. Even if we break even, the event itself is, is really cool because it promotes performing arts. Hannah Tita, Newcap News. We have a couple of new pets up for adoption in this week's pet project. Chum the Cat lives up to his name and enjoys cuddling. And six-year-old Lab Shepherd Cross Patty is intelligent and energetic. With more, here's John from the SPCA. Patty, a six-month-old Labrador Shepherd Cross, is one happy-go-lucky and affectionate boy. He just adores people and is perfectly content to be by your side. He enjoys playing and running around in the snow as well. He already knows some basic commands and is a very intelligent dog. With some patience and a few treats, there is no limit to what he can learn. Although at times Patty can get a little excited and may jump up, he listens well and seems to know that when he's around the little ones, he needs to be a little bit more gentle. Therefore, we are sure that Patty would do well in a family with children of all ages. Patty also enjoys the company of other dogs, big or small. This dog has so much love to give, he just needs to find that special family to share that love with him. Be sure to stop by the SPCA and meet Patty. It will be well worth the trip. Are you looking for a best friend of the feline variety? Then you'll just adore Chum. Like his namesake, Chum is one fun-loving gent who just adores people. 
Within a few minutes, he will form an unbreakable bond with you. After a hard day's work, you can come home and he'll be there to lend an ear and probably share his day with you too. You might not know what he's saying, but he's sure to make you smile. Sometimes you just need a hug too? Well, Chumley excels at that as well. This guy just loves to cuddle, which is quite rare compared to most men. This cat is truly one of a kind, so don't miss out on adding this guy to your family. Stop by the SPCA and meet Chum today.